You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodriguez for Black and White Sports. Well, let's talk about the transgender bi- slash biological man males in sports issue. We have a uh, Christian school here that is standing up for their belief set. Uh, we've been very vocal about this situation on this channel. Uh, we've seen it, of course, unfair advantages in various sports like swimming, MMA, weightlifting. I mean, unfortunately, the list goes on and on. Track and field. Uh, Leah Thomas, of course, has been uh, very public as a biological man competing against females. The NC2A has just uh, crapped all over Title IX. And um, it is unbelievable that this is what the left is pushing. It used to be that female rights was such a big deal. Now they don't care. We're going to try to cater to what? 1% of the population? Who knows? The other thing they're trying to do is devalue and diminish the value of religion in this country. And this Christian school has chosen to stick to their principles as opposed to play the game. Now, I'm going to be the first to tell you this is completely unfair for the, the girls of this Christian school to be put in this situation where they're having to forfeit so a biological man is allowed to play or a biological boy is allowed to play. Now, we saw last year in a volleyball game, a girl got severely hurt. Okay, strength, size, wingspan, competitive advantages by allowing a man or a boy to compete against girls or women. Let's get to this. I got to tell you, bravo to this Christian school for sticking to their belief set, though, and not, not backing down. Breitbart, Christian school forfeits playoff game to avoid playing against transgender opponent. Cite safety and fairness concerns. A Christian school in Vermont has officially forfeited a basketball playoff game Tuesday to avoid competing against a team that allows a transgender girl to play against natural-born females and cited fairness and safety as the reason for the decision. While the state of Vermont does allow boys who claim to be girls to participate in girls' sports, the Mid-Vermont Christian School in White River Junction decided to forfeit its game in the Division IV state tournament to avoid playing Long Trail. According to Valley News, the school within the school withdrew from the tournament, saying that allowing boys to play as a girl jeopardizes the safety of female athletes. It absolutely does. Quote, we believe playing against a, an opponent with a biological male jeopardizes the fairness of the game and safety of our players. School Chief Vicki Fogg wrote in an email to the Valley News, quote, according to biolog- allowing biological males to participate in women's sports sets a bad precedent for the future of women's sports in general. Amen. Lauren Thomas, the assistant executive director for the Vermont's Principals Association, admitted that she received several communique from various schools during the year regarding the boy playing on Long Trail's team. Quote, I received calls from schools asking for best practices and how to go forward knowing they were going to play a team with a transgender female on it. Thomas told the paper, but she admitted that they ignored the questions and simply reiterated the official statement on the topic. We just supported our stance and our best practices through our inclusivity statement. Good God. During the last school year, the Christian school sent a letter to state officials stating it would not comply with all the extreme left-wing requirements in the state law and remain true to religious beliefs. As a religious organization, the school has a statutory and constitutional right to make decisions based on religious beliefs, including hiring and disciplining employees, associating with others and in admissions, conduct, and operational policies and procedures. The head of the school, Fogg, wrote, By signing this form, the Mid-Vermont Christian School does not waive any such rights, she wrote. Fogg added, 
that some of the state's rules conflict with the school's religious tenets, including on marriage and sexuality, and therefore the school has not included that language in its handbook or online, nor can it affirm that a particular aspect of Vermont Public Accommodations Act. In a recent opt-ed published in the Vermont Daily Chronicle, fitness expert Aaron Warner pointed out that the boy claiming to be a girl on Long Trail's team is fast, strong, and even taller than all the girls, both on his own team and most of the team's schools he plays. The boy, who has earned the nickname, quote, not in this house, because he's able to block so many basket attempts by opponents in one game alone this year he blocked seven shots by girls on the other team boy that's something to really brag about warner believes the transgender player is long trails rose johnson and this is from the bennington banner long trails rose johnson controlled the opening tip of tuesday night's girls basketball game against mill river and deflected it to a teammate who immediately found molly looker for a layup on the left side of the basket. I am not sure which one in this picture that is. I'm assuming her, but I don't know that for sure. Quote, in one game, he had seven block shots. That means seven shots typically closer to the basket, so much more likely to go in, were blocked by a guy who is taller than every other girl on the court, can jump higher, and likely significantly stronger. Warner wrote, and what world is this even remotely fair to other Vermont Division IV girls? Well, it's not fair. It's not fair. It's a clear competitive advantage for these teams that have biological males competing. Okay? And we also have got the situation. Look, we've seen this, right? Couldn't cut it. As a male athlete, in a lot of cases, Leah Thomas, some of these others. Uh, So we're going to switch over. We're going to transition, go compete against the females, and then immediately dominate. We're seeing it right here. It's starting very early in some of these left-wing states. Vermont, going to be included there. Uh, It's weird how so much in the the Northeast is this ultra-woke. What's going on there exactly? Um... This is appalling. These girls are not able to play a game that I'm sure they enjoy playing. They've put in the work to play. They've achieved and made the playoffs. And because this school unfairly is competing with a biological boy, they've got a forfeit. And far as I'm concerned, this is a forced forfeit by the team that has the biological male on there. In other words... You chose to allow this boy with an uh, uh, c- that presents clear safety issues, com- clear, clear competitive advantage issues. You allowed this person to compete, and you're forcing a team, a Christian team, by the way, to forfeit their, their game. It's just not fair. Okay, these girls have the right to compete, should be allowed to compete in every game. They should not even be put in this position. They shouldn't be subjected to this kind of crap. And I don't know who this kid's parents is that allowed this transition to happen, still being in school, but shame on you too. There, I said it. I said it. Tell me what you think, black and white sports supporters. Boy, it's creeping younger and younger. And again, the devaluing of Christians. The left, they'll celebrate this as a win versus Christians. They will. It's repugnant is what it is. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.